So half cup, half cup and a bit. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Eka Styles. I hope you're doing well. And today it's a Monday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, and in Japan, girls give chocolate or sweets to the boys they love or th they like. So I baked something. I don't I don't bake normally. If you're around, you know I made a banana bread before and it didn't get fluffed. So I was really worried how it's gonna turn out and as I was making the dough, it turned into grey. I was worried once again, I kind of gave up halfway because, I don't know, it was all sticky and that. But I baked and it looks okay. I could have tried a little bit harder in terms of the shape. Ta -da! So it turned golden which I was not expecting because it was gray. So today we made a last minute reservation to the restaurant called, I forgot, the Beaches Club restaurant, something like that. It's right by the beach, meaning by the lake, Lake Ontario. And I thought it would be nice Valentine mini getaway. Well, he's treating me, of course, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh... I am just waiting for him to come home. Maybe we'll snack on the scones because the it was last minute's reservation and reservation is at eight. Right now it's five, almost six. Yeah. So uh, I will see you right before I leave. Maybe I will show you what I'm gonna wear for Valentine's. I actually haven't decided yet. Being indecisive. So I'm back with the outfit of the day. Valentine's outfit. It it's very masculine energy going on. But all I wanted to wear at the end it was this sparkly top that I wore in New Year's Eve. I feel like this is too much. To oh, <laughs> I feel like it's too much to wear this one to kind of day-to-day -day basis, even with the jeans, like a blue jeans, because it's like so shiny. And I don't have a lot of opportunity to wear this. So here we are. I thought we we're going to a restaurant. You know, it's courses, meals, so. I think it will be okay. And in Toronto, it's really cold. I think right now it's minus 10, even below. It's gonna feel like minus 20. And we're gonna be right by the beach, which is even colder normally. So other pieces. So this one is old one from Zara, but now a lot of places have similar tops. So I'll find it, link it below. And belt is from Celine jeans from dynamite or the one but it's just a boot cut black jean again i will find everything similar and link it below and here we have four leather jacket this is uh, from aritzia memories this is my favorite one i know i tried a lot of them from zara but i end up choosing one from aritzia and the red coat this one it's from zara and i got this was it on sale I think so. And they have similar one right now. I think the buttons are not black, the new one. Nice and warm. Well, not so warm when I wear like this. But if I close fluidy, I think it will be nice and warm. Besides, we're gonna be in the car, in the restaurant. We're not gonna walk too much, I think. I hope. <laughs> so yeah, that's the outfit of the day. I will see you tomorrow. Hello. This is actually Wednesday, I skipped to yesterday. I only went to yoga. Anyways, today's outfit, a lot of items are of course from Zara. Zara top, Zara jeans, Zara puffer, and Zara bag. 
So everything is actually old one, but I know they have very similar puffer jacket still this year. And I'm pretty sure I can find very similar items from Zara or elsewhere. So I will link everything below. And of course I have my Mejuri rings on. So these are Mejuri Mejuri Very. I will link it below. I don't think it's available anymore, but they have some beautiful, gorgeous accessories jewelries and this is from my mom very old one and also majori and for the shoes it is from h&m late last year but i don't think it's available anymore i will link similar things below either from h&m because i like h&m shoes if suit my foot shape very nicely but today oh and a belt did i mention my precious belt <laughs> from celine uh yeah so oh, tomorrow um we're gonna do pack with me kind of situation we are going to cottage for three nights friday saturday sunday coming back on monday and i think we're gonna go skiing and that it's gonna be fun i hope so keep watching we'll do pack together hello guys it is thursday i thought you were gonna be pack with me but I want to do unboxing first. I have small Zara order naked, N-A-K-D. I always wanted to try and H&M. So let's get into it. So I kind of half opened it because I had another piece for my boyfriend, which is a uh, jogger. That's the reason I opened this one. But uh, actually this is two separate orders. One is separate one. Ta -da! Isn't it so pretty? I already unboxed it. I already tried this one. Oh, it's so pretty. One thing I noticed is that I already have sweater in this color. I thought it's gonna be a little bit different for some reason, but you know, I guess it is what it is. And I got this one size extra small. It's so pretty. I'm gonna take picture and we'll post it on like to know it account. So if you're interested, follow and check it out. It's really soft. I don't think it's any like a natural material. It's all synthetic if I'm not mistaken. Actually it's 64% polyester, 30% acryl and 6% wool. So that's pretty nice. So it's a little bit of wool in it. And da -da -da -da. next item. Can you tell what it is? It's a trench coat in a very eco color, more like on the white side, because I already have like a classic trench coat. And it comes in very handy in the beginning of spring. Like in Canada, it's kind of hard to say, like we don't exactly have spring. Sometimes we do, but it goes from chilly to warm right away. But for trench coat, I think it comes in really handy. And the classic one, sometimes, you know, you don't want to go for the color. And I look for more like a lighter color. And I thought this one would be so perfect. For this one, I got size extra small. It's part of not during life, conscious collection. What do you think? Like, without tying up the back, it looks pretty baggy. But that's a kind of good because let's say right now, like today it's kind of warm day I think well yesterday too like around 5 to 10 degrees but it's raining and windy so it's a little bit cold so I can wear something thicker neat wear underneath without being super bulky so it's really good but make sure you size down it's really relaxed fit and what I'm thinking uh, for the items from H&M I will post it on the LTK like to know it account I'm um, not the try on home or should I do try on home? Oh, let me know if you're interested, I will. And next item, I thought it's beautiful, beautiful black dress with a pleated details. It's really hard to tell, I think, but it's like entirely pleated in front at the back though. The top part is not pleated. Yeah, so I got size extra small. 
and it's a midi length with a half sleeve. It's very classic, very chic look. You can dress up, dress down, more of dressed up side, but you can of course casually down with the sneakers and maybe like very casual outer. I think it's really pretty. And in terms of the quality, it looks pretty nice. It's very flowy, which is always great when it comes to pleated items. Well, I will try it on... Maybe I'll make another video for trial. Or should I try on now? You know what? I will try on. I might as well, right? So this is how it looks. What do you think? I really like it, to be honest. It's perfect for church. And the neck part, actually, I'm wearing like this. But there's a button so you can close all the way. It's just one button up here. And waist part, it is um, elasticated so it's so comfortable. And if you like, I don't think you... Yeah, it looks nicer with the bow. Or you can opt out this string and put the belt like this. I think it will definitely dress up the dress dress up the dress dress up the look more yeah but it's really nice quality of course you can wear sweaters on top and make it a lot more casual or more versatile you know treat this one as a skirt kind of situation so in terms of the sizing i did size down but again like i know when it comes to elasticated waist midi dress i know i'm extra small so use your own discre discretion, but it runs relaxed. Let me tell you that way. And the next item is another dress. So I'll be right back. So this is another item. It's very see-through. <laughs> also, the texture of the fabric, it's, I don't know, it's, it's viscous blend, but it feels really plasticky. I'm not a big fan of it. And the color is not the perfect color for me length it's a little bit weird shape is weird i don't know what it's supposed to look like actually it looks like it doesn't even look nice as a sleepwear well this is a fail maybe it would be nice by the beach wear a little bit of like belt not like leather belt but more of neutral belt maybe i'll try that i don't know it didn't make much better maybe a little bit better because it has a little bit of gold accent yeah this is definitely not for me maybe if you're curvy it will cinch in a lot more but what is this i don't know so we're gonna move on to zara no actually i want to try the yeah let's go for zara zara yeah i said it's gonna be unboxing so i put my clothes back and then we're gonna do unboxing so small boxes it's like this how nice is it it's so much easier to open or not we got a stack here we go all right so here's three items i think one is look at this beautiful color cut up dress midi dress it kind of looks a little childish in a way. I don't know. But I really like this purple lilac. The color of the ear is very pretty. It's a little bit more bluish purple. But I know bluish purple doesn't suit me well. If it's pastel purple, it does. So, you know, why not? So this one, the fabric, it is 91% cotton and 9% polyester, so it's pretty nice. And I got size extra small, price is $79.90. And the next item is a beautiful color poplin shirt. I got size extra small, $49.90, part of a joint knife. And I think this was also cotton. I might be wrong. I'm right, 100% <laughs> cotton. And the bottom? I couldn't tell what how what kind of button it was on the picture, but well, I wasn't looking at it deeply. But this one, it's kind of white and a gold rim. It's really nice. It's actually better than I thought. It's like a trench coat color, like a traditional trench coat, classic one. We shall see how they fit. But one last item. It is. The mask or glasses, what is it called, chain? You know what I mean? Like the one you put 
around the mask or around the glasses and I think this is nice when I would go for vacation or somewhere that I carry a lot of stuff because I tend to to put sunglasses up here when I'm tying the hair it gets stuck and it will ruin my hair so if that's the case I just take it off and for the mask I know how good it is when to have that thing so yeah and I really like the finish of this it's like a bracelet from Mejuri I haven't got, a, got that one yet but it's like you know well you're not gonna wear it like this but it looks like the one from Mejuri. I like it. It's kind of classic, but oh, hanging right here. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Let's try on. You know what? I'm gonna open this one first so I don't have to put this back. So, this one, it is from Naked Fashion. I always, always wanted to try. And I wasn't sure, you know, like, is it worth it and that. But they have a lot of sustainable collection. Also, some items that. Zara doesn't have. I got three items. One is orange trouser. Uh, I don't know if this was the only size left. I know there was another orange trouser, which I think all sizes were available. But that I was looking for bright orange trouser. If you watched this video, you probably know I tried two trousers. Those one. It's not bright orange, but this one is pretty bright. You can tell, yeah, it's really bright. I just hope it will fit me fine. Length, I'm not worried because I can always take it to the tater. I can wear it with a platform, either or, it will work. It's just the waist part and the hip part. And yeah, this bag is made from 100% recycled material. It's good. And the second item, it is a blouse. Yes, I know purple again. I cannot remember Zara having... Um, well, I'll show you how the shape is. It's more like an Abercrombie vibe. Alright, so this one, when I... my first impression, it is a little bit too polyester feeling. feel like once... it's super easy for me to sweat. Although this part is see-through, so that's good in a way breathable around the chest area or like armpits area it can be a little bit an issue we'll see we'll see how it fits on and around the shoulder area it got a sleepily anti-slippery thing going on so it doesn't slip all the way down let's see we'll see all right oh yes and then last item it is a mesh globe so i was initially looking for non-mesh globes but then I saw somewhere, I think multiple sources, and also <laughs> figure skating Olympic. I see mesh glove and I thought that's really cute. But I see globes kind of everywhere. It's uh, what year is this vibe? Like 1960s kind of vibe? Is it 60s or 70s? Ooh, I don't know. My fingers are pretty thick. <laughs> well, it goes all the way up like here. But you get the idea, and I don't know if I'm liking it. It doesn't stay nicely. I mean, you cannot... <laughs> and what I wanted to show you is put the rings on, but it's not that pretty though. I don't... I guess my fingers are not as skinny. This is a little bit disappointing. But I feel like I'm gonna keep it. It would be cute with a black dress and like a Audrey Hepburn vibe. I know she, her, she, had, she didn't have the mesh globe. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe not with the rings for sure. And maybe from four actually it's fine, isn't it? Like, I have to put properly, which obviously I cannot right now. This try-on, I'm not used to unboxing try-on. <laughs> Bear with me, please. But if you want to watch proper try-on haul, make sure to hit the subscribe. I use a lot of try on dedicated video, but also I like making vlog. I think it's really fun. I feel like I can talk to you guys a lot more in a personal level. Obviously, Zadar haul is always the more popular one, but you know. Alright, so let's try on this one. So this is how it looks. I probably don't wear it together, although 
I think it's in terms of color wheel, it's okay combination, but I personally wouldn't. So for the tops, let me get over with the tops. It's big. Um, I don't know my usual size from Naked Fashion, also in European size. I thought I follow the size chart, but maybe I just follow what size this is. Yeah, I definitely should have gone for 34 or 32, I'm not sure which size would be better. But uh, yeah, it is way too big and it doesn't look good. Unfortunately, it has to go back. I don't know how the return works, but yeah. But otherwise, it's actually pretty. I like the concept of the shape. It's a little feminine, but you can wear it with a black trouser or white trouser, skirt, you know, to... I, Maybe we wouldn't wait for the skirt because it's pretty feminine. I would like to probably mix up a little bit of masculine energy vibe here. Otherwise, the design is pretty. I like the sleeve, how it goes cinched in and then fluff up like a ruffle. It's very nice. It just it's a little bit too big on me. In terms of the pants, obviously, who didn't know, it's long. Yeah, it happens. The waist part, it's a little bit loose, but very comfortable. If if I lose weight, I'm planning to, because I gain some weight, it would be maybe it's a little bit too big, but again, if I want it to be trendy, they might be better like this. Not low, but like mid-waist fit. I think it's better to show this way. Ideally, fit it here, right? I mean, I think it's good. But what about the legs and hip part? Is it, does it look too baggy? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's a great fit. If it was from Zara, I wouldn't keep, so yeah. I, I like the color a lot, though. You know what? Let me change the top and I might change my mind how it's exactly fitting. Alright, so this is how it fits. I can see a little bit more clearly. I don't know what exactly it is. If I size down, I know for sure it's gonna be tight. If I take it to the tailor, it will fit like this. You know, seamlessly. Seamlessly. <laughs> and the waist part, it definitely, you know, it's not cinched in waist look but nice and comfortable i like how relaxed it is i can wear it at home or like to somebody's home my friend's home not to somebody's but it's cute it's cute it's cute i like it it's comfortable that's what it matters sometimes and to show you the globe it's longer than i thought it comes all the way <laughs> my forearm but that's the idea I'm not gonna wear it like this, more like with a little bit more fancier clothes. Not bad, yeah. So I learned that for the tops, I should go for a European size 34 for the future. And for the bottoms, probably 34 is kind of better looking fit, but 36 would be comfortable fit. And now we are finally moving on to Zara. I'm getting a little bit tired, because something new is always you know, you use your brain a little bit more. So this one I will try it first. Actually, this will go well together. Maybe not. It's both are baggy. Okay, so this is how it fits. Very interesting sleeve. You know, like normally this cuff area, it's until here. But this goes all the way to the elbow. Yeah. So for the arm length, for me it's perfect length. If you're tall, I feel like it's gonna be like weird length. Or maybe it's nice lengths as like, you know, showing the wrist kind of illustration. Otherwise, you can always roll it up like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute, actually. And like that rolled up look as well. In terms of like around the chest area, it's kind of volumey. Doesn't exactly flatter my body shape. I would definitely tuck in. I even thought of tying it when I initially bought it. But I don't think it's the right one. So, I wouldn't tuck in both sides, just one side and like have it kind of flowy because when I tuck in both, <laughs> I don't know, it looks very masculine, like, yeah, I feel like I'm going to Amazon kind of, those adventure kind of life. So, I love the color but something is not clicking with me, but I really like the fact it's 100% a cotton. And it's not thin cotton, it's very nice texture, um, the thickness of the cotton. 
so I recommend it if you are into like this kind of vibe I it reminds me of wabi-sabi fashion you know like perfecting the imperfection or something embracing the imperfection yeah that's the vibe I got and I will try the last item of today and then we're gonna move on to pack with me situation because I'm going to the cottage so this is the last piece that lilac dress my first impression I love the looks of like on the top around the arm is so comfortable it's beautiful and the cutout it's still going strong this year so it's you know perfect trendy piece and the neck like this neckline it's pretty deep but it's not too open it's nice it elongates your neck so nicely and it balances out the volume and here open i like it a lot but when it comes to length i'm five foot two 150 centimeter and i think it's a little bit weird length when it comes to this design because it's not structured dress skirt but the fabric is pretty stiff so it doesn't move a lot you know what I mean like I have one from Wildflower collection last year from H&M that cotton material was very flowy and very like creates the movement so it was very nice even though it was kind of long length but this one it doesn't create a lot of movement so I feel like I'm I don't know, it's too traditional look, like 1600s kind of look. But what do you think? <laughs> if I know I'm going to somewhere like maybe lavender farm or very nice landscape and take beautiful picture, then this one would be nice, I think. It's, it gives that certain vibe, but it's not the city vibe, if that makes sense, with this length. But if you're taller, obviously the length will be shorter. As long as it shows your ankle, I think this one will be so cute. Although it doesn't create too much movement, just showing your ankle gives nice sophistication. Where this one is a little bit more girl look, in my opinion. So, now we are... Oh, it's so pretty, no? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are moving on to pack with me situation. I actually don't know what I want to pack. So I feel like I did make some lists. I'll go through my phone and see if I made a brief one. I feel like I did. I did. I know I did. Anyways, <laughs> I will be back in a second. So I kind of made a list what to bring. And I pull up two bags because probably I'm gonna need two, three nights well maybe, yeah it's better to have two so this adidas bag that I used to use for high school and Barbie bag that I got when I was in grade 5 school trip Aha. so what I'm gonna take is so I definitely need a heat deck I think it's the camisole version and here's the leggings um, bring my skins okay I'm back with socks so four ankle socks and one like home kind of thing sock I have two sweatshirt one is dark brown the other one is black both are cropped length and black leggings kind of skin color leggings and a beige leggings three because they are comfy and actually we don't know what we're gonna do someday maybe skiing i only done skiing once in bunny hill wish me luck <laughs> and then for the regular clothes daytime clothes i don't want to wear something light color although i kind of like the green jeans i was wearing yesterday so i think i'll bring that and black full leather pants purple sweater green sweater maybe I should change to pink sweater so that way I can be colorful or is it too much I don't know
so I don't know I kind of forgot how to take vlog I did 24 vlog for vlogmas and I thought I was getting used to taking vlogs but apparently not if you don't practice it you lose it uh, anyways <laughs> I think I want to add a little bit more stuff in the suitcase, oh not suitcase, what is it called? The Boston bag? A lot of items are old one from, you know, last year or two years ago. I do a lot of hauls, but I don't keep them all. I actually keep it when I absolutely love the item and think I'm gonna use it, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of items I love, but am I gonna use it? I think about it and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. And considering I have so many items, I know I should put them on Poshmark. But you know, to take pictures and I don't take measurement. Once I take pictures, I put away to Poshmark box. So, you know, when I get comment on, you know, questions, what's the measurement? I tend to, you know, kind of forget about it. I'm sorry. But anyways, <laughs> if you're interested in my closet a little bit of closet i have poshmark we'll link it below and yeah i will kind of organize here i would probably take some pictures for not the poshmark but for ltk and before cottage so in case i get kind of bored i can upload edit that kind of stuff i'm out of reasons yeah, yeah. i'm out of rhyme yeah, pretty good but i'll only tell you that i'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you wanted me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love <laughs> like it is, like it is Saturday we went to snowboarding for me it was first time in nine years for the second time in my life so obviously what you expect I fell 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 <laughs> and my arms are so sore like my muscles because I am so nervous that it goes like and also I fall a lot and push myself up so you know it was really fun I really, I really want to try it again practice do you know regular level because i'm like was in a bunny hill <laughs> but anyways today a very relaxing day we didn't do much just relaxing eating talking enjoying the weather at the backyard and now guys are going to grocery store some are sleeping now i'm eating chips cottage chips i don't eat this usually and yeah, so I didn't really show you what I was wearing because snowboarding, like, I got those stuff from Colombia eight years, nine years ago. Oh god, it's so windy. Yeah, but today I'm wearing tops from H&M and leggings also from H&M. Yeah, and this coat is, I mean, jacket is from Zara a couple of years ago, so... Nice and warm. Actually, it's really good quality, in my opinion. Like, it keeps me so warm. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my chips. My hands are freezing. And I will go back inside the room, maybe make some coffee. 
have more snacks and I will see you maybe tonight. We are gonna make fire tonight, so.